Hi, I'm Demari. And I'm Brandon. Before the show begins, please subscribe, like, comment, and share with a friend. This allows us to increase our visibility on the platforms where you listen and watch so we can continue to bring you quality content each week. Help us grow and we can grow together by enlightening minds one question at a time. And now, back to the show. with Joe Rogan is he really just fell into a sweet spot. It was not of his own volition or it was just like at a time when no one was going to speak up about the truth or whatever you want to call it and stand up against this like uh, propagandist machine, this MSM stuff that was going on. He was just the one that was like, okay, well, these people have different opinions. Let's bring them on. No one else is going to listen to them. Come on my podcast. It just so happens that his show is huge. I mean, he has better numbers than some of the largest network channels. Than uh, all of them combined. Than all of them combined. So that's why they were just really hating on him. And then he came, he just brought these guests with different different opinions. And then from that point forward, they got really upset. And I was like, it made me, I never even listened to Joe. It made me start actually wanting to listen more because I'm like, he's got everybody upset that he must be telling the truth then. <laughs> Because why is everyone so pissed all of a sudden? I don't, I don't know if it, I don't, I, I, I think, you know, I think the main thing is that I think the word truth is too, is too, uh, tricky of a word, you know? And I think, uh, what do you mean by that? You know, look, look, um, like, I don't think it's any secret that this country is divided, right? I think we, I think we've got like you and I have different political uh, views, you know. And there's a lot of people I respect with different, you know, that I that I trust and respect with different political views than me, right? Or different social mm-hmm. views, different economic views. And it doesn't have to just be boiled mm-hmm. down to politics. There's people that in my right. life that I'm close with that have different views, life views than me, right? Right. We have different definitions of truth, you know, like they, 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 what they bring to the table as truth is to me, you know, not truth and vice versa, you know, and, you know, I think that word truth is just kind of a loaded word, you know, I think it has a lot to do with perspective. I think it has a lot to do with experience. I think it has a lot to do with a lot of things, but my truth is not as necessarily the same as your truth. And I think, I think that's the, one of the biggest things, you know, our country's facing right now is we're all so set on our truth is right, you know, and, and, you know, that's where the big divide comes from, right? Like, you know, the right wing, if you listen to Fox News, like, they're spouting what a lot of people think is truth. And if you listen to, you know, any other, you know, more, you know, liberal media outlet they're spouting what their viewers think is truth you know so i think truth Mm -hmm. is kind of like a subjective word now like you know and uh Mm -hmm. and i think it's and when you have a word that's so subjective i think it's a topic that's easy to manipulate you know and Mm -hmm. and you know and i think any opinion can be sound convincing and be passed as truth you know what I mean? And, um, you know, like COVID, for example, like the fa- the truth of the matter is, is like, I'm not a fucking doctor. You know, I'm not a scientist. I haven't, I don't, even if you present the research to me, I don't know how to read it. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. I don't know about the different cells in my body and I don't know about uh, about how how the organs in my body function. And I don't know about how viruses affect my body. And I don't know about about uh, uh, contagious diseases. That's not that's not there's people that have gone to school for a very fucking long time to get that expertise. And I have not. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um but everybody's an expert now, don't you know? That's the thing, you know? That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and and, yeah, and so it's, we it's find ourselves in the divide that we find ourselves in, you know? Because true, because 
information is so readily accessible now, but it's 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 kind of like a false sense of security, right? Like you can Google anything, but like what the hell? Like who's who's the gatekeeper of what Google's telling you? You know what I mean? So it's like right. so right. so. Yeah, we all have, the, you know, it's one of the things I love about pottery is because it's not, it's it's something you get no matter who, what your background is, no matter, like, same thing with music, right? It's like, no matter what your background is, no matter what your beliefs is, you're going to have to struggle the same as anybody else to master this particular mm. thing. You mm. can't just bullshit your way into this, you know? Like, same with music, right? You got to put in your time. Like, there's not, there's not, you know, but, but it's so easy to fucking bullshit and manipulate and, and market your ideas as truth and i think the, the the word truth has become just too fucking subjective you know and i don't even know how to find the truth anymore i want to believe like i want to read an article that tells me such and such and i want to believe it but i honestly don't know if i can believe it, it doesn't matter who's publishing it you know it's just like i don't right. know what i don't know what right. I, like yeah. it's it's become like an uh, an era of like over information you know, where it's just mm, like, there's just yeah. too much. And like, you, you just, and we just, and we have our core beliefs and then we end up just leaning towards whatever jives with our opinion, you know, and right, and right. right or left, you know, and we just want to hear what we want right. to hear. And no matter which right. side of the aisle you're on, and there's, now plen- there's plenty to the controversy. There's, there's plenty of information and, and, and articles out there to, to discredit your belief. But we just right conveniently don't see those, you know. Yeah, no, and that was what you know we hope to do when we you know sought out on this endeavor side by side podcast is to just have different people with uh, you know different perspectives and come come together because I feel like even this the conversation we had on this previous episode uh, with you and Mo, you know, I thought just listening to it, it was a great opportunity to just put the different perspectives out there that are not so black and white in a sense that the media often portrays it where, you know, you have friends and, you know, close friends that are like family to you that are there living there and they don't necessarily agree with what the Jerusalem post is, you know, telling us we're supposed to believe. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you have someone on the other end who culturally uh, is seemingly different, but you guys pretty much overlapped on the same sentiment. So that's not what mainstream media would want us to think. At the end of the day, I think what always bears out in history and every society is once it gets sufficiently complex, there is the elect who have decided that they're better and more advanced than the rest of society and the rest of the population. And then they make everybody divide and conquer. And that's, they keep everybody busy and distracted from them having the power. And if people really just got together and overthrew them, then it would change. But they keep people distracted by focusing on their identity, focusing on the things that are fear. different about each other. Fear is fear, the mechanism. Yeah. That's all. I, it's the Wizard of Oz. Like, 100%. that's literally how how we live, man. And they I push think, fear. And I think, Everything you, know, you turn on a TV, fear. Yeah. And I mean, I think, I mean, not to get, like, too deep into it, but I think, like, religion ultimately, like, predates modern media, you know, as far as, like, like you know, there's... You know, lots of evolutionary studies, like, talking about how religion is a product of human evolution. And, like, what better way to control a mass than to promise eternal salvation or eternal damnation? Right. You know what I mean? No, I think that's why everybody had to get in on it. Once they saw, like, the other guys are winning, they're like, I want a spinoff. Yeah. Here's the remix. I want some. Yeah. And then the next one and the next one. And then after a while, they just call it... Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you're winning. Exactly. I guess your God's stronger. I guess I'll worship that guy. You know, like yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, but um, <laughs> end of the day, though, man. I mean, but, like, I mean, I think we're, I think we're all more easily manipulated than we choose to believe. I think, like, I think we're, yeah. we're all more sheep than shepherd and it's that's a hard thing to recognize but like i'll read i'll read the headlines and i'll find myself nodding and then i'll tell myself like (laughs) and then i'll tell myself like well hot damn like that's the most biased headline ever i've already formed an opinion i haven't even read the article right 
You know what right, I mean? Like, right, right, yeah. The, like, we're, and I'm just like, well, I should probably read that before I start nodding my head in agreement. Like, you know, that's the, right. the but that means it's that easy. It's that easy to be, like, yeah. and, and headlines it's so don't funny. even try to hide it now. You know, you don't even have to read the editor. Oh, no, no they don't hide it at they all. They don't even care, man. It? It's so funny, man. You just, I was skimming through the, new, the news app last night, just checking out all the nonsense on there. And it's just so funny, man. The articles they come up with, the the things that they 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 do with these. What are these? Like the clickbait. The, yeah, yeah. Just, the, every article is crazy. It's just like I mean, I don't get it, man. Dude, I it's mean, just, yeah, I mean, and it's like it's 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 like I said, like you know, the art, the 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 headlines now are written in a way that like you know what the point of the article yeah. is before you even read it. You know what mm-hmm. the synopsis are is. Chicken just from the nuggets, headline. the new white supremacy. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what here's the, here's the awful. It's like, oh yeah, tell me. Here's the awful thing so and so said, or 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 yeah. how racist. It, this is this is the this yeah. is the headline I just read this afternoon. How racist are MAGA followers? Re this survey tells all, and and you're just like. Oh my God. <laughs> It's like, well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I can pretty much guarantee that I'm not going to click this article and be told that they're not racist <laughs> at all. Like, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, but you can't. But also, you can't tell me that all of them are racist. Like, this is nonsense. Sure. Like, all of these things are just like straight up nonsense. Sure. I mean, the yeah. nuance. The, there's nuance in every aspect of our of life. You know, like exactly. we can't put we can't put anybody into a box. You know, like like I said, I'm I'm right. I'm far far left, but but I have. Many conser- far, you know, I have many conservative friends, you know, who are and and family who I respect and love deeply, and I do mm-hmm. have trouble grappling with how they believe what they believe. But it's really no different than like us having different religions and like them wholeheartedly believing that such and such will happen to them when they die and and they have to go through whatever ceremony for whatever sesh that happened and and me believing the same thing for from my side you know what i mean like you know the fact that you know like yeah like, well i think the difference though is what you pointed out earlier though whereas religion kind of all has that one thing where it's like okay treat treat people as you would want to be treated whereas politics lead people in different directions completely yeah, yeah. And I think it's got in like the again like we're talking about black and white in a gray system. I mean, I think it's like got into like this whole idea of like if you're liberal, you believe that we should all be wearing the same thing, living in the same houses, standing on line for toilet paper and and food and and we should go back to communist Russia. Like if you're if you're a liberal, that's mm-hmm. what you believe. You know, that we should have the lowest standard for education and healthcare and it should all be free. Um like yeah. that, you know. And then the you know, your the right is painted as like, you know, gun toting, like shooting off like every man for himself, pull it up by your bootstraps straps mm-hmm. like fuck everybody else like taxes suck and and i'm, I'm a one <laughs> well taxes do suck <laughs> and apparently they don't even go anywhere other than to overseas I mean, so I mean, you know your hard-earned tax dollars going to pay for i mean other, but you also you pay places, you pay, proxy you pay wars. state yeah. federal and local taxes you know so your taxes are getting well we're in texas you're in texas yeah that yeah it's, it's a whole you guys nope. are doing this whole different no, this no whole state, little social no state experiment taxes. happening down in texas i don't know i'm gonna <laughs> i wish you guys the very best for this upcoming winter and, and you know the funny thing is oh yeah that's gonna be crazy now that's gonna be crazy but i've been preparing i'm taking my coat showers you <laughs> No, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm already practicing for starvation and everything, so it's good. You got a generator? Uh, but if you have not, uh, no, I don't. I'm just going to wing it. I'm going old school okay, caveman, okay. bro. Like, I'm just okay. going, I'm doing some breathing and some cold showers, bro. Yeah, I'll be fine, man. <laughs> Uh, got some beans. Uh, <laughs> but I, I mean, like, I, I'll be the good. Political man. climate is as nuanced as anything else. Is the point, you know? Like you're like just because you're right, you know, you're on the right doesn't mean you're a radical, and doesn't mean you're, that doesn't mean just because you're on the left doesn't mean you're a radical, you know? Like, exactly, like I believe, exactly. you know, obviously I own a business, right? So yeah, obviously, how hard I work determines, and how smart I work determines 
the money I make and the life I live, right? So obviously yep. I have some, some sort of capitalist, <laughs> right? And, and, uh, so like, yeah, and I want to be like, I want to have control over my life, right? I'm self-employed. So like, I don't want to be told what to do. I want to go into the world and, and I want to wake up in the morning and I want to do whatever the fuck I want. And I want to go to work doing whatever the hell I yeah. want. And I want to make money doing it, you know? And I want to live yeah. my best life yeah. with the time that I got, you know, like, yep. Yeah. Do I recognize that like I came from like a comfortable home and that has a huge fat that's a huge factor in why I'm able to live this life because I've never had to worry about where my next meal is coming from so I felt more comfortable taking the risks that I've taken like yeah that that plays a factor into all these things you know but you know and so so obviously I'm I'm a believer in work hard make money work hard the harder you work the more you get like i believe in that sure absolutely your effort should be rewarded Mm -hmm. but you know i also think we're in like a function Mm -hmm. society and i don't think anybody can survive on their own and as a society we have to think Mm -hmm. of each Mm -hmm. other right so like you get people who are saying like well man like i don't want to pay school taxes because i don't fucking like public school sucks like i don't want to pay tax my tax money dollars to go to school i don't have any kids I don't have any kids. Why do I want to pay for public <laughs> education? You know, or like I, I can Fuck afford these kids, good, man. I can yeah, afford no. good health care. So why do I want? Why do I want my tax dollars going to a fucking you know single payer universal health care system, right? But like to me, it's just like, well, hot damn! Like if the the more educated and the healthier our society is, then the more people are working hard and making money, and then the more people to have the money to come and spend money on my business. You know what I mean? So like, <laughs> right, so, right, right. so to me, a healthy, educated. So sus- what you're saying uh, is you're really on the right. Well, yeah, right, 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 right. What you're a, saying, he's basically other, like the CCP. We've come full circle. You're so far left <laughs> that he's right. That now you're I do, right I do, I do again. Believe, which I do believe in the end of the day, there is something to be said. You know, this is one of the big, like, this is one of the big evolutionary debates is are humans selfish or not? Like, is selfishness a thing? Mm. You know, I do believe we mm. are. So- I don't think so. I, I don't know. I think we're all actually selfless, but this system that we're in forces us to be selfish. I think we want to be. The whole capitalist I- society pushes this whole like individualism on us. But when you look at primitive cultures, so-called primitive cultures, they were very much operating on a collective. There's probably always some type of hierarchy, but for the most part, they were working together for the greater good, but they were also very smaller civilizations, much smaller very smaller much groups smaller of people. Communities. It's a balance. Yeah. And who's to say that? It's a balance, because yeah. you can't that. sacrifice all of the individual for the collective. Otherwise, you know, tyranny sure. reigns. And at the same time, you, don't, you can't sacrifice the, co- the collective for the individual. Otherwise, we can't live together well so, you just tell that the claw you just sounded pretty liberal man that's just like that's just what i'm saying on but <laughs> <laughs> i did i say i wasn't yeah he's 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 not not I'm liberal pretty, i'm pretty apolitical yeah. man <laughs> but yeah, i mean that's I go the point the, though right i go where the uh, that there's that the lines aren't so <laughs> i go where the, the, the lines leads, so man. aren't so like hard driven in he's the like, sand yeah. you know and that just because you like just because you believe that like everyone has a right to like health care and education doesn't mean you don't believe in survival of the fittest and just because you like or just mm-hmm. because you believe in survival of the fittest doesn't mean you like think that like someone should go bankrupt because they get pregnant or because they get a disease that that they can't control you know like like yeah. uh, we have a fucked up society yeah. and like a, a fucked up system that like really like i mean you're really just like the pre- so wait are you advocating for darwinism right now I'm not advocating for anything. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, you know, seeing it, oh, okay. ha- saying how I see it. You know, is that there's just a lot of hip hop. There's okay. a lot of, a lot of contradicting, contradicting uh, viewpoints yeah. that that model society and a lot of hypocrisy that controls us. You know that that we want one thing, but we mm. we need another thing, or we need one thing, but we want another thing. You know, and, and it's just very iffy. You mm-hmm. know, and I'm just saying that, like, no, not all conservatives yeah. are just like people that don't care about everybody else and not all liberals are people that right. like you know don't eat meat you know like <laughs> 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 you know <laughs> well what i was gonna say is 
Uh, you were slightly hating on Texas, but dude, I'm telling you, if you came to Austin, bro, you'd love it, bro. It'd be like right. It's your I don't speed, hate bro. On Texas. You don't even have to wear shoes. I don't shoes. hate on Texas. Um, I think Texas is a really interesting kind of. Exp- I mean, our country is an experiment, and I like. I think that's another thing we take for granted a lot is how new our country is. Like, we're talking like a few centuries mm-hmm. old. But we're facing. We're our allies. Our countries that are are are, are millennium old. You know, like two hundred and thirty five yeah, years. You old. know, like we're we're such a baby nation. Yeah. You know, and, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, I think Texas is in, and so our country is kind of an experiment, right? Like our, our, we're still like, we're, we're like everything, like nothing is like, like nothing is set in stone. Like we, and we talk about rights as if there's like a fucking set in stone. Like that's my second amendment. Right. But the fucking second word in that, in that the, the word that comes before right is amendment, meaning that we have a a constitution that can be Mm -hmm. tweaked. That's the whole point. We like the, that we can, Mm -hmm. we can change things like the, that the amendment wasn't Mm -hmm. in the original draft. You know what I mean? Um, right. So I think like, uh, uh, well, you're not taking our guns, in Texas. <laughs> but I think I think I think Texas is an experiment within an experiment, and I'm just and I don't hate. I on think Texas. Texas is what America aspires to be. Texas, I'm very curious about what happens to Texas, and I'm sitting <laughs> on the edge of my seat. And I think you're like you guys are like. All right, well, we're in a country that's an experiment, but we're going to take it a step farther and be a state within a country that's just total, ex- totally experimental, and we're going to cut off all these federal resources, and we're going to fucking do our own thing. And I'm just curious, man, and I just worry. I worry about you, you know. I want. I don't. I don't want that whole like. I worry about you. No, thing don't believe in the, this winter, and I, I want. That's going to happen again. That's gonna happen again, but don't don't believe the mainstream media. You gotta come down. You gotta see it for yourself. You have to oh, live it, sure. breathe it, experience. Oh, but then you have to promise people. us you go back to where you came from. That's now, listen, the only see, promise. Like, listen, I know there's liberals in in Texas. I mean, Beto is making quite the oh, quite yeah, the Austin? noise down there. You know, I know I know yeah. it's not the yes, hard right yes, place that it's made out to be. Just like Israel can't be right. can't be labeled a, a, a whatever it is because of its government, Texas can't be labeled whatever it is because of its government. You know, the uh, I'm, I'm very right. curious. Right. I don't hate it at all. Florida, that's a different story. <laughs> Yeah, we can hate on Florida. Hey, we can hate on Florida. There's no hating on Florida this week. Oh, we can't hate on Florida this week. Oh, all right, we got the hurricane. Thanks, Come on, people. have a heart. Yes. Yeah. We'll give we'll them a pass. pass, but you know they'll get, they'll climb out of it and they'll be okay, <laughs> and and then we <laughs> and we can continue hating yeah, on them again. You know, but Texas, yeah. no, I, I mean, think Florida, most bro. people Florida's are just different. curious about Texas. I think I don't think people hate on Texas as much as they're yeah. curious about Texas and just like really just eager to see what the hell happens. Yeah. yeah. It's a very unique place, man. It's it's like no place I've ever lived for sure. And then w- within Texas, like each city is its own little thing. So, you know, even living in Austin, which is, you know, what I affectionately call Soviet by Southwest, uh, is, you know, it's, it's is it a pretty liberal, it's a completely is it a, is different it a pretty place. liberal place, Austin? Austin is the most liberal. That's I'd say you don't even have uh-huh. chooser optional. Okay. I'm gonna take my shoes off when I get off the podcast. <laughs> and what? No, it's a it's a beautiful place, really beautiful. Hill country's beautiful, really nice landscape, really nice people. Everyone's extremely nice. I've never had any but issues. But are they kind? Uh, and then you just you yeah, they're kind. <laughs> and then you go oh, unless so they kind. unless they came Other, from California. Dude, Southern hospitality is a real thing. Yeah, and it's not fake. It's real. It's actually it's like, frightening. It's kind of cool. Man. You off guard. I don't know. I've been invited to do some things. It that really does. Are really bizarre. Especially, bro. especially growing up. You know. Well, I guess the town I grew up in was pretty friendly for the most part. But then going to Chicago, and Chicago is like a whole nother <laughs> playing field. And then going to LA, and then I came here, and I was like, it was a breath of fresh air, man. These people, act- the waiters actually wait on you, and they care. They they actually care, and they say they give you a smile. It's a real thing, man. Southern hospitality. 
It's a real thing. I've been invited to people's homes. Like my UPS driver was like, "Oh, you you just moved here. Like my wife will cook for you." I'm like, "Bro, I wonder if that's about? a southern thing." You're or just that's my. Just like, I don't know what, what what he thinks Brown can do for you. Me? Are you in a big? What's your name? Fucking <laughs> Brown. What's your neighborhood you. like? Are you in a big city or are you in like more like suburbs? Or are you more in like a town? I'm in a. I'm in a. I'm in a. I'm in the burbs mm-hmm. of Austin. He's in mm-hmm. Austin. Mm-hmm. So we're currently in Austin. It is, there is a difference. There is a difference. Like generally where I am, it's more conservative. Um, but in the Austin city limits, it's always going yeah. blue. I Man, sure. I wonder if it's just like a thing about big cities. Cause like you're from a big city. I'm from, like, you know, I'm from the city and, 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 and when I moved up to Newburgh, like Jenny and I were on the, we're, we were, we first moved to the city of Newburgh, which is like, you know, pretty urban and uh we when we were unloading the u-haul my neighbor came up to me and was like you new to the neighborhood you should come to dinner tonight we're having some people over from the block and i was just like who the fuck are you <laughs> it was like I was yeah like, exactly yeah did you went, go man and and it was the best wow thing ever because you know I, I we come from brooklyn and where we never knew our neighbors you know this woman who lived next door to us, exactly. not only she invited us over for dinner, she turned out to be just this incredible, amazing photographer, man. This woman turned out to be the Mike Tyson's personal photographer, and she met him before he even went pro. She wow. just released a book, Lori Grinkler. She just released Mike Ty- the new book on Mike Tyson, a Super retrospective cool. of, his, of his life from pre-pro to current. And she was his personal photographer. She was the wow. first woman wow. to be allowed in Muhammad Ali's gym. There was a sign that said wow. no girl, no woman As a allowed. photographer. And she was like, I'm coming in. I'm photographing him. And she became his photographer. And she photographed Muhammad Ali. Wow. Also, this one is fucking dope. monster. Like, fucking Lori Grinkley. Incredible. Uh, uh, and that was my introduction cool, to Newburgh. First time Shout moving out, out of Brooklyn, yeah. I get invited to the And she invites us to dinner. And there's, you know, half a dozen people there. Everybody's sculptors and painters and photographers and whatever. But, like, I mean, she, she tur- like, she, I was just, my mind was, she's, like, this very, very, very nice, you know, Jewish woman, you know, or, you know, and, and she just had this, like, incredible, incredible, like, story. So, I mean, I wonder if it's just about leaving, like, the big urban areas, like, and you just find, and people, and things slow down, right. and people have a chance to connect with each other and listen to each other's stories, because I feel like everybody's right. got a story like that, but we're just, like, and when you're in such a yeah. big city, you're just so focused on what you're doing, and just, like, so, and that, that we lose yeah. track of each other, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, what you experience, that's what the elect want. They want us to not <laughs> like our neighbors that's true. and not it's talk true. to our neighbors, which is why in the cities people true, don't man. talk to yeah, them. It's true. Because they're being manipulated. But then you move out to the country or you move out to a smaller town or even a mid-sized town and you say hi to your neighbor and you have a conversation with them. I and mean, they're just a person. They're a human being. I still get weirded out, bro. I still get weirded out. I was sitting on my balcony the other day and this guy just, I mean, he started talking to me and I was like, bro, what? I don't know you. And he just kept asking me questions. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, bro, that's exactly, I was like, bro, I had to tell him, I was like, man, dude, you ask me a lot of questions right now. And like, I'm actually going to go in the house and make a drink now. He's like, oh, 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 I'm sorry, man. I didn't want, I just opened the door and walked away. Cause he's like, bro, you're really creeping me out, man. Like, who are you? I think everybody's like a spy, bro. Like, like I did not. I go it's to the, the Chicago dinner. With you, man. <laughs> don't trust anybody. I don't know. That's I don't know. Kindness, Why are you asking me so many man? questions, man? I don't, I don't trust it. <laughs> Damari's like in his kitchen analyzing his conversation with Mary, the the ninety two year old granny neighbor, and he's like, "Man, she's she's got an opposite <laughs> she, for me. She's what? she's yeah. she's coming for me. She's coming yeah, for me, bro. There's something in there, bro. You know the old ladies are the worst ones, bro. <laughs> they 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 got like sixty years of scheming experience, they know bro. They I'm not, know. Know. I'm not messing chase. with those ladies. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're just like I'm gonna ruin you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna yo man off all the bullshit. I'm just gonna ruin you. 
<laughs> I'm gonna just ruin you, bro. And I'm gonna do it all with a smile too. Like I'm gonna have everyone else thinking I'm a sweet old lady, but I'm not. I'm the devil. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, man, this has been great, dude. We gotta go and get some food or something now. But man, thank you so much for just spending yeah, for extra sure. time with us on this very, very unique episode of Side by Side Extras. I thought we were gonna talk about pottery. Yeah. We, we didn't even talk about, about, talk about it. We talked about, about everything about except pottery. You never know. The world is pottery, man. The world is you pottery. You never know. That's the thing. I mean, what are you saying? You got the the metals, the minerals, no, and the I'm water. Saying, I'm saying in a thousand in the years, air? the pottery reflects the conversation that we're having right now. <laughs> ah, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ask a person to put a liquid gold in a pottery vessel and then consume that liquid gold and. Do it, man. We all, we all, we so, all take different routes without, to our truth. You know, this That's is. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this <laughs> this is uh this has been side by side Great extras with, with David so Moldo. Yeah, you guys David. Always. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Peace, David. See Are you a small business owner, young professional, or pre-retiree looking to grow and protect your assets but don't know where to start? With all the noise about stocks, bonds, cryptos, it can be hard to know what steps to take. Let Black Swan Financial Group help you so you can focus on doing what you're good at. Black Swan Financial Group is a telefinancial planning firm operating in select states nationwide. They're here to help you protect, create, and grow your assets. Visit blackswanfinancialgroup.com today to get your free consultation. Hey everybody, Brandon Adamari from Side by Side here. Just want to tell you about one of our newest sponsors, Ease Web Development. Ease Web Development specializes in building high conversion websites and marketing campaigns that take your business to the next level. They're the easy decision when it comes to marketing. So check them out now at www dot easewebdev dot com. That's ease w e b d e v dot com. Now back to the show.